previously on Crit Fail Club. Stop fighting! The 28 damage that would have gone to you is instead bounced back, reflected off an enormous flash of light. Did the... did he do that? <laughs> oh no, 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 I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to do that, I didn't mean... He is preparing to cast Cure Wounds. He attacked us. Do we want to be bringing him back right now? Okay. Nyla pulls out a rope. <laughs> uh, and Vestavius Gaunt uh, comes awake with a shudder. I am so sorry. I did not mean to rebound your magic straight at you. Your father offered a reward to bring you back safely. When you first look at him, you think he is a human. But now that you can get a little better look at him, you realize he's not a human. He's actually a half-elf. He mm -hmm. is kind of short for a half-elf. He has this mop of dark hair, bright blue eyes, uh, and he is dressed in vestments and priest vestments. They, they were taking a whole bunch of people and they were just carting them away and oh, I gotta go find out what happened to them. There's also people in the cave, too. Well, they just, they just need to go back to Baldur's Gate, don't they? Just like you need to go back to Baldur's Gate. They I can't go back to Baldur's Gate. Gate! There's people that need my help! Sir Wyndon Orimer agrees uh, to transport them all back. He also agrees to carry Vestavius Gaunt. He slung over one shoulder like a sack of potatoes. Now listen. I've been here for two days now, and in those two days, two times, a wagon has come up to this cave and taken a whole bunch of people. I think we need to figure out where that's going. Okay, sounds good. <laughs> uh, no objection here. What? what why are Should we, we agreeing? pretend to be prisoners? Do we need to be tied up? What are we agreeing to here? Do you not want to help us, Mala? Fine, fine. I will come along and Yes! Help. I knew despite your little your violent nature that you are nice people. If we're gonna do this, we gotta do this right. I may or may not have a talent for the art of disguise. He looks closely at your cloak and he sees well they seem to have Ooh. they, they oh, have an cool. interesting looking clasp. This is the symbol of the goddess Bashaba. Uh, she is known as the Lady of Misfortune. She's associated with bad luck, with torture, with pain. If these cultists are aligned with Bashaba, that is, that's bad news. That means they're probably doing some pretty hideous stuff to those captives. Don't we still have somebody back in the cave? Oh, God. Sal, do you um, want to? Salvador, want to keep it track? Sal says, you know, it takes someone who's really hurting to join a cult of Bashaba. And then he hugs the cultist. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my, oh my god! <laughs> With a 24, I guess the cult just breaks down to tears. <laughs> it does take a lot of pain to join a cult of Bishama. By the grace there, of there. Elbath, you can be redeemed! They make us torture people! Sometimes really little children, you know? Oh. Nyla, you suddenly hear, Hey! Uh, a man in similar robes to yours uh, comes running up to you and he says, Where are they? Did you kill them? I tried, but I am bad at my job. Okay, 17 is a very good roll. Uh, the cart is heading uh, back toward the coastway, but instead of heading straight into Baldur's Gate, they sort of veer off uh, to the east and they start following uh, the river Chiantar. You do pass perilously close to your village, <laughs> Nyla. Your family is literally within spitting distance of this very dangerous, torturous cult of Bashaba. And you are dropped off in the very dark part of the Reaching Woods. There you can hear screaming coming from inside this temple. It's full of people being tortured. From underneath you somewhere, uh, you hear what sounds like a roar. They've got a manticore. Kylo exactly. looks at, at, uh, at Sal and is like, okay, you just have to tell me one thing. Yes? If we kill this manticore, will you go back with us to Baldur's Gate? There is something about this answer that he does not want to divulge to you. I'm going to sneak over to that door. If you guys can quietly, you know, at least stop the torture. Uh, so there are a whole bunch of papers. Uh, you see a letter. I've attached a transcript of the prophet's notes. She sees the break. She sees the break. She knows the truth. She knows the truth. She has still not moved or shown any signs of moving. She sees the nature of the lie. And until something changes, our warlocks are useless and our entire cause has come to a screeching halt. She is learning what it means to be nothing. I think we should probably not tell Sal. Um. I am concerned that if Sal sees this, he is not going back to Baldur's Gate with us and we are not getting our money. You're not at all concerned about this. Come on, have a heart. So Pretty yes, bad. you successfully sneak to the bottom of the staircase, and here is what you see. In the center of this cellar is a carved out P. 
pit with a cage over the top of it. And this pit is the manticore pacing back and forth. Oh, oh it's a nat 20! Nat 20! Yeah! Hi, Yazzie, that was so cool! And he goes over to you, Sohoe, and he's like, that was a really cool spell that you cast. And then he runs over to you, Nala. I like how you jump out of the shadows and shot at it. It was very cool. You guys are great. I like y'all a lot. Uh, is that he's going to help get all the other people who were strung up along the walls down. Uh, he immediately runs to the first person that he sees and then remembers that he is not a rogue and doesn't know how to break chains. And he says, Nyla! Nyla looks up from like she was starting to make her way over to the bodies and was going to try to steal things from them. No, so Nyla, like, help God. me! I mean, I guess I could put my very talented skills towards unchaining people instead of stealing good things, she says as she stalks over. We really, st we still got a long way to go with this whole violent streak, huh? It's not violent! It's not violent! I'm just can I'm you liberating stand, Can you stand on my shoulders and unchain them, please? You have you have your thieves' tools, right? You're You're a sneaky person. I do indeed have my thieves tools, okay. yes. Uh, so he, he uh, ducks down so you can stand on his shoulders to get to their wrists. Uh, and you can see the other uh, the other prisoners by now are staring at you in just in awe. Uh, like they just watched you take down a horrible manticore. And now, apparently only with a little bit of prodding, you are going to release them. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I take out my thieves' tools, and I'm grumbling the entire time. Like, there's a whole manticore over there. Who knows what kind of things it has on its body? And Probably here I am not instead. too many things. It is just like a big old animal, Nyla. No one knows until they look for things. Now do you, Sal? <laughs> Can you please just let these people out? Uh, so roll... <laughs> this is... It's sleight of hand, right, for thieves' tools? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa! Okay, all right. Uh, so these these shackles <laughs> practically fall the fuck apart. <laughs> they, she looks at them and they're like, "Okay, <laughs> I'm sorry." I, like, I think the shackles I think, get like scared. it needs to be that she's like bitching about this as she's like undoing <laughs> it, like like they're like popping open under her hands while she's like, "And I could be stealing things right now, but I'm said I am unlocking people out of cages." <laughs> Uh, so Sal has, I like the image of uh, Nyla on Sal's shoulders as he just walks her down <laughs> the long line of, <laughs> of chained up people. Um, and uh, eventually they are all uh, freed. The people down here are in pretty bad shape. They are not as bad shape as the uh, as the people upstairs, but everyone is sort of in bad shape. But these ones can at least walk, mostly. Uh, mm. So in all, you've got about 30 people Um who are varying degrees of injured and uh you can see uh salvador hastily like buzzing up and down the stairs trying to carry everyone uh to the to the cart saying like it's okay we're gonna get you back to to your families don't you worry about nothing i don't think that cart's gonna carry everyone uh he says yeah that's probably true but you know there are some who can walk uh so we'll take the ones who are in the worst shape and we'll put them on the cart and then we'll ask everyone else to walk does anyone know where the nearest city is? I'm not really familiar with this part of the world. Nyla is stubbornly sitting there refusing to say anything. <laughs> Nyla's just like, I've, what, I've never been here in my life. What are you talking about? Never, this is completely new territory. Never once been here in my life. Oh, yeah, I was just going to be like, no, aren't there halflings nearby? I could have no. sworn there was like a city or a village or a town or something. No, okay. Maybe it was nope. my mistake. Uh, nope, no, no yeah. halflings. Uh, okay. So as you are uh, insisting that there are no halflings here, uh, Nyla, you hear a very familiar voice from behind you. Nyla, is that you? I turn in horror. Uh, one of the people that uh, you would guess it would have to have been uh, Sal and Ariazis who rescued him uh, from one of the upstairs. He, he uh, You recognize him immediately. His name is Thaddeus Brightwine. He is the only innkeeper in your hometown because it only had one inn. Uh, he is an aging halfling, and also he looks like both of his shoulders are dislocated. Oh. Uh, and he, he looks up at you as you come up the stairs. He's like, is it really you, Nyla? 
It is not, sir. You have me mistaken with some other stranger. Uh, Sal immediately <laughs> dives in and interjects. Oh no, that's not that's not all right. Not God, a light damn hands. it, Sal! <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Uh, hesitantly, uh, Thaddeus Breitwine, uh, stands up a little shakily. He's like, oh, I knew it was you. I'd recognize you anywhere. I worked so hard at this. Very recognizable. I agree. I, I think Nyla has this look on her face of just defeat, and she turns around and she goes, oh, Thaddeus! Thaddeus, I didn't recognize you. It's been so long. It sure it's has, just, Nyla. It's... You look very different with both of your shoulders dislocated. <laughs> yeah, I feel different too. Did you come all the way back? To... Oh, I bet you came back to visit your parents, didn't you? And then you I saw... I didn't do it. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like, wait, Nyla... your parents? <laughs> Nyla runs over and she has her like, hand on his mouth. Yeah, Nyla, do your parents live around here? <laughs> <laughs> they... Possib- possibly, it's been a long time since I visited, so it's you know probably they probably haven't moved. <laughs> Unlikely that they have moved since I visited last. It's amazing that Selwyn's eyebrows are still technically on their face; they're that high towards their high their uh, hairline. Nyla Ny- takes Thaddeus, and she's like, "You know what? I'm going to take my dear friend Thaddeus here, and we're going to have a great conversation elsewhere that is not here. So thank you all." And she like starts trying to power walk him away. Uh, Sal's like, I mean, all right, I guess we'll just keep loading these people. Someone, pl- wait, wait, seriously, does anyone know where the nearest metropolis is, where the nearest city is? Um, all right, so you take uh, Thaddeus Brightwine away. Where are you? Where are you taking him? I guess I'm just taking like, so we're you were outside the or outside of the temple, right? Uh, no, he was still inside the temple. Uh, but okay. he can. He's one of the few that can walk. Uh, okay. Can't use his so arms we, very like, well, but you know. Like march outside the temple and like stop outside the, where the cart is. Uh, he has not yet noticed that you're in kind of a, a sour state, probably because he's in a lot of pain, if you had to guess why. <laughs> but yeah, he goes with you and he says, it sure is good to see you, Nyla. Wow, it's been a long time. Last time I saw you, you were only knee high. Was, that was like two years ago. <laughs> <laughs> grown a lot since then. <laughs> it's. I think. I think she brightens up once she's away from uh, from the rest of the crowd, and she's like, "It's good to see. It's good to see a familiar face. You know, I. I do miss. I miss the hometown. I wish I miss... the circumstances were better, but yeah, I do. Do you know? She like looks hesitant. She goes, "Have you seen my parents recently? Not since I was taken from outside of the village. No. How long ago was that? Oh, it was about four days ago now." Oh, four, okay, so it hasn't been that long since you saw my parents. When you said it, it made it sound like years. <laughs> well, they, they, they are keeping us in a very expeditious rotation, you see. They would torture us for about a week, and then they would take you downstairs to be eaten by the manacor. Thank you, by the way, for interrupting that cycle. Very, very appreciative of that. You know, anything for family. <laughs> and, you know, everyone in my hometown, essentially, You know, they family. can't hear you anymore, Nala. You can stop lying now. <laughs> I mean, That's, I, not for nothing, but you, you stole my wine, like, on eight separate occasions. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds about right. I was just practicing so that I could be ready for the big city. Didn't you want to be part of my development and growth? Was drinking the wine that you stole part of the practice? It was indeed. <laughs> you just have to, you know, look, in the big city, you have a harsh expectations. You've got harsh people. They're all very tall. You never know what age they are. And you just have to be prepared for all sorts of eventualities. Whatever you have to tell yourself to sleep at night, Nyla. I sleep really well. Thank you. <laughs> look, look, you know, I'm not heartless. We should get you home. Yeah, unfortunately, I don't think I'll be able to make it all the way back home. I think it's probably best if we just take everyone to the healing house in Scornable. The what? <laughs> uh, Nyla, you know where Scorn- Scornable is the, ne- is the nearest city. It's definitely not a metropolis like Baldur's Gate, but it has okay. city things in it. You know, it has inns, it has a temple, it has uh, changing houses. Um, uh, you've probably actually been there at least a couple okay. times, like maybe during a hunting accident. Uh, you went to, <clears throat> it only has one temple. It's the Healing Houses of Lathander. Okay, so, um, oh. Oh. <laughs> I promise it's a coincidence. I looked up Scornable <laughs> on the D&D wiki. Surprise. And they only had one temple and it was to Lathander. 
I'm gonna get lectured by my former god. <laughs> and as you are having this conversation with Thaddeus, I imagine that um, you know uh, Selwyn and and Salvador and Ariazes, they're all like helping. They're carrying the worst yeah. wounded out, and they're you know placing them. <laughs> I imagine Sel has this moment <laughs> where he goes up to the cultists that are in the back of the truck. He's like, "Sorry, not evil people get precedence," and he like pushes them off the back of the cart. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's so cute. Um, so Nyla, you know, she, she turns around at this point and she's, uh, she looks at Sal and she goes, I mean, I guess we could go to the healing houses at Scornable. Scornable? Is that the nearest city, Nyla? I suppose. I mean, I'm not some sort of geographer. There might be other ones, but yes, it's the one nearest that I know of. That he's like, yes, it's the nearest city. And he says, well, that's great. Uh, that he says, it's only about an hour from here. So, I don't know if they'll be able to handle all these people, but, you know, we're kind of limited on our options, you know. At least getting the worst wounded there would be good. Yeah, and the the setup is kind of difficult to manage. Like, you know, you, you're trying to save the space in the cart for those that are the worst wounded, but there are a lot of people that are really badly wounded, right? Are there um, any other... If they're really badly wounded, you, the manticore is going to wake up and be hungry. We could leave it a snack. <laughs> no, no, Ariazis, that's not... No. Nyla turns, <laughs> turns to Ariazes and has this enormous grin on her face. No, no, stop, please, stop, please. This is not good. <laughs> it's natural cycle. It just wants to eat people. Yes, but we don't have to facilitate it eating she people, raises Ariazes. She a very, very good no, point. No, she you does know, not. No, she, uh, what about you know what? I'm going to take care I am gonna, evil cultists. Uh, no, I'm not. Mm -mm, no, no, no. You, it, if it wants to find food, it can find, it, find food on its own. And he, like, in, like, in the cultist's <laughs> defense, he, like, drags them away by the, the scruff of their neck. And he goes to, like, probably lock them in some room or a cupboard or something. Ariazzi's like puts a hand on Nyla's like these people are like completely opposite to his faith so you know I know it's just it's not gonna work out well for anyone I'm just you know we're doing this for their own good interesting interesting philosophical uh perspective <laughs> there killing people for their own good interesting it's just it's you know <laughs> the Nyla perspective <laughs> oh my gosh I'm gonna suffer Ariazzi's anyways. Like, I wasn't even thinking about the people. I'm just thinking this animal is very hungry. It's not its fault, you know. That's a good. You know what? That's that's you're absolutely right. It's the, it's the animal and it's hungry, and we should we can't just deny those urges. <laughs> uh, well, unfortunately, you are not the ones who are locking the cultists away in some secret place. Right. Uh, exactly. A couple minutes later, Sal comes back out. He's brushing off his hands of you know I assume cultist stink. <laughs> oh, uh, he comes back out and he says, "Okay, now we'll just leave them there, nice and secreted <laughs> away, and we will let the authorities in Scornville know that there are some very evil, tortury people uh, locked mm. in a space that I'm not going to tell you about, just in case you go back inside and you know <gasps> throw them into the manticore pit." Which is, no, we're not doing that. No, we're not doing that. <clears throat> we looks not. awful and she goes, "I don't know if there actually are authorities in Scornville. It's not that big." <laughs> Uh, like, Thaddeus I mean, is staring at you in confusion, like, oh, you don't have to lie all the time, you know? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, she's pretty pretty good at it by this point. I think it's, you know, pretty pathological. It yeah, it makes her feel better to lie. So it's okay. <laughs> she, like, looks around at you, too, and is like, Th sharing my secrets. Thaddeus, Come on. Looks, Thaddeus looks to the other three members in your party, Nyla, and, and he says... Scornable is a proper city. They have a guard. They have, you know, a ruler and everything. It's fine. I'm sure they'll be happy to help. Nyla's glaring daggers at Thaddeus at this point. Listen, Nyla, you're 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 a hometown hero and everything, but I don't want to. I don't want you to lie to people. I don't really just like. Great, they're going to love me there. Let's go. <laughs> you know, tieflings are really popular everywhere. <laughs> just wear a hood. It's fine. Hood doesn't. Also, hood ain't like gonna cover them. Taller than they are. Yeah, <laughs> hood ain't gonna cover them antlers. Uh, you end up actually <laughs> all. Well, I don't know, because Sal uh, would immediately give up his seat on, uh, you know, in the front of the wagon, you know, driving the horses to someone who obviously who can't walk, uh, and he would probably insist that you all do the same. <laughs> oh yeah, Nyla doesn't want to be packed in with these Cretans. She doesn't know who these people are. <laughs> I mean, that's Jeez. one way to. That's one way to do it, I suppose. They're like injured and bleeding. Gross. It's, weird. it's gross. 
Uh, so yes, you um, you pile the worst wounded uh, into the cart, and the walking wounded are with you, trailing behind, and you are all walking back out of the forest. Uh, and Nyla, you you know these you know this area. Are you actually guiding them out, or are you stubbornly re- insisting that you still do not know where you are or what this place is? No, I think at this point it's like pretty clear that I can't <laughs> lie out of it. So the cat's out of the bag. Yeah, yeah. I'm just I'm like I think I'm walking ahead of everyone though. Like I'm guiding everyone ahead, but I'm not talking to like. <laughs> I don't want to talk Ariazis about it. has like a map for her brain, so she's like watching you like, nope, it's a left turn. <laughs> uh, so you have got, the the walk is not very difficult, but it is going to take an hour or two. Is there anything uh, y'all are talking about uh, on the on the road back to Scordabel? Oh, as they left the temple, Ariazis was like, bye, Manticore, I hope you have a nice meal. There are, there are snacks for you, goodbye. <laughs> I so I think I know I we need to talk with Ariazis about the letter we found but not with Sal so <laughs> oh yeah because yeah that's right she was helping undo things so yeah Sal is very distractible like someone says that he's in someone just mentions that their leg hurts and Sal's like I'll help he's you he's gonna be busy exactly yeah. <laughs> so uh Nyla like like slinks back and like hopefully outside of Sal's vision yeah it's and fine is, Okay, so, so I, I pull uh, I pull Ariazes and uh, uh, Selway together, and I'm like, okay, so we need to talk about the letters I found in that room. What letters? What are we talking about? There so, were so uh, she found a bunch of letters and things, um, letters and arcane notes, and uh, oh, they were talking about a prophet and um, not being able to cast magic, which is bizarre. They're that is very weird. And they were talking about further sacrifice, specifically of children. Like, they were looking to, to sacrifice more children. They thought that was the solution to their problems. And look, Ariazis I just want to be... very ill. <laughs> I want to be straight with you here. I am concerned that we're not going to get our money. <laughs> yes, that's they not so exactly... They're sacrificing children, and I am concerned that we are not going to get our money. <laughs> Look, I just I am concerned. Sel, Sel and I are on the same page. We are concerned that we are not going to get our money. I am not. Do not put words in my mouth. That's what you said to me back in the temple. I was there. You said it. I was there too. I, I distinctly remember you saying, I am concerned about the 3,000 gold that we are going to lose. <laughs> Ariazis just... is like looking back and forth between like the two of them like, oh, I don't know why, but I'm inclined to not believe Nyla and believe Selway. <laughs> I, I know them better. <laughs> Look, it's not important who said what at this point. I think that the, we can all agree on is, is that, that we need to help the children. What? And the that money is, is not as important. On. The money? Where? I'm sorry. Do you think that like things like healing potions and beer just grow on trees? No, you have to pay cold hard cash. Arias is like, of course they don't grow on trees. I would know that if they did. Yes. See, <laughs> Arias would know that. <laughs> oh my god. There anyway, are other children are in the world than just money. I haven't had a good beer in like 24 hours. And I just don't know if I can go on like this. That is so sad for you. Anyway. I mean, it is worth children. noting that you are going to a city and where you will presumably have a rest of some kind. Presumably, but I don't have any gold. Well, you have I some have gold. A, I have a small, I have an insignificant amount of gold unsubstantial okay i guess we can talk about these children look i'm not saying we don't rescue the children okay i'm fine with rescuing children that's okay if you want to rescue children i'll go along with it but i wanted to do that and get our gold do you see where i'm coming from Mm -hmm. did i ever argue against that yes no no yes yes (laughs) you did i I never I i feel like you're arguing against that i feel like by not presenting a plan in which we can do again the priority which is getting our gold and then we can rescue the children I feel like it goes together because the gold you are talking about, his name is actually Sal. Uh, he, he likes children, and I have also happen to like children. So, you know, a lot of people Why? like children that are not you. <clears throat> I just don't understand. Can you explain to me the appeal? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so imagine you are a baby me who was abandoned in the forest, right? And this uh, is maybe. Too much already. This is a lot to imagine. This is. You're really suspending my disbelief here. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I don't want other children to go through what I went through. Maybe. You have a father. You always talk about him. He sounds exactly. very nice. Exactly. I have a father. Not everyone is so lucky. These children will still have fathers. They just they will not alive. if they are dead. 
Well, no, they still have fathers. They're just dead. Oh, my God. Uh, <laughs> definitely not the point. I like to imagine that as you all are, like, arguing furiously about this, like, in the background, Sal is, like, striking up the equivalent of what a friend we have in Jesus, except, you know, fantasy. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> to lift my the spirits. starts playing in the background. <laughs> to lift the spirits of the, of the wounded and everything. <laughs> okay. Again, let's just, let's just make a plan right now. What's the plan to rescue the children, but also to return Sal to Baldur's Gate and get our money. You know, I, I get the feeling he doesn't really want to go back. I mean, like I said, these people are the exact opposite of his faith. I mean, I don't know if you know anything about Eldath, but she's all peace and love and happiness. Ugh. Yes, you know, there are lots of people in the forest who are like that. They're very weird. I don't like them. <laughs> <laughs> in agreement. We we you know we agree all the time, Ariel. It's like we have we have key you know just this but... one time. But I mean, like he's going to want to do everything he can to stop these people. Do you and see again, what I'm saying? We just don't have to tell him. That's see where I'm going with this. Even we if we don't tell him, he already talk. saw the cultists. He already saw them feeding people to the manticore, which and is not as, his fault, by the way. As far as he knows, it's done. It's over. The, the, the situation is resolved. We have rescued yeah. the people. We can go back to Baldur's Gate, and then we can come back and free children or something. You're right. Yeah, we because... canceled the cult. It is no more. This Bashav, this goddess, she is gone. We canceled yeah. her. You're right. Because <laughs> cultists just have only one enclave. This is, yes, true. Only one. That's that my was sarcasm, experience. in case you didn't know that. It's my experience with cultists. It's not sarcasm. I think it's real. <laughs> nope, it was sarcasm. They are definitely more cultists. Look, I just, if you have a different plan, I'm willing to hear it. I just want to, again, I just, it's important to me that part of the plan is that we get paid. I'm sure we will eventually. No, 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 no. That is not part of the plan. That is, that is hope, and that is something we don't believe in. No. <laughs> We don't believe in hope in this game. <laughs> wow. Nyla went real dark there. Dark. <laughs> Look, I just came out of a room where there were just like, I mean, countless. I mean, I, I don't think we put a number on it, but I would assume upwards of 20 people being tortured. I'm not in a great mood, and I just want to get paid. And I would like a bath, and I would like some beer, and I would like to have 1,000 gold. To... <laughs> <laughs> nice save. Good save. I <laughs> know, yeah, right? Is that too much to ask? Is that, come on, I am just a simple halfling who just wants to appreciate the simple things in life. Mm, yes, 1,000 gold, very simple lifestyle. Yes. <laughs> it, it, it doesn't take long to get you to Scornable, right? Like, it's not it's not very far. It's less than an hour. Uh, and the healing houses of Lathander, they're easy to pick out because it is literally the only temple in the city. Uh, Scornable is almost exclusively like a commerce city. Uh, it's right on the river uh, Chiantar, uh, so this is a really big trading hub uh, along or along the river. Uh, it's also really, uh, it's also got a huge port, uh, which, which you can see the moment you step through the gates. It's like straight down the main thoroughfare uh, along the River Chiantar is a huge port full of barges that are passing through and stopping and loading and unloading cargo. Um, and it's very easy to find the healing houses of Lathander. And Sal is the one who kind of bursts open the doors and he says, I need a little help! You've got like 30 people who've been tortured! Knock, knock. <laughs> Uh, and yeah, uh, it, the, so the so the healing houses of Lathander, are like they are almost perfunctory. Like every city has to have like you know a healing hall because you've got to have a healing hall, right? It's very mm. small and they are not equipped for thirty people, but you know they <laughs> they do their best. Be, they do their level best because you know they're priests of Lathander, and yeah, they're gonna help everyone that they can. And Sal immediately uh, starts. He naturally takes up like uh, like a like a chief of medicine role, like in a hospital, you know, like telling people, "All right, now this one's the worst off, and this one I'm not entirely sure is conscious, uh, so you might want to look at that first. <laughs> this one doesn't have any knees, uh, and as he Trauma is trauma surgeon triage, <laughs> exactly. Uh, so he's sort of help, and he's even you know helping uh, like consulting with the priests and stuff. And one of the um, one of the higher priests, higher priests at the echelon, like approaches the rest of you, and he's like. Where did you find these people? <laughs> what is yeah, this little temple in the woods? It was really uh, fun. Long story. Involved a manticore. A manticore? Sure. Like, listen, I, if you if you can tell me where you found them, I'll be happy to relay this information. Like, clearly there is something bad going on, and we, I'll be happy to tell, you know, the local authority. Yeah, there's, um, there's a uh, cultist temple to Bashaba in the Reaching Woods, or just outside of it. 
a little bit way back uh, about an hour he seems like a temple to Bashaba. like well, yeah it's not usually in Bashaba's purview to torture <laughs> a lot of people all at once i mean don't get me wrong Bashaba is she's no good and her cultists are no good either but this is extreme even for Bashaba cultists well there's some locked up in some hidden cupboard uh, if you want to send people back there, you can probably interrogate them. <laughs> yes, don't worry. We'll absolutely uh, send uh, city guards to retrieve them. Part of the Reaching Wood is in the authority of Scornabel, so if they're within our authority, we'll definitely have them you know, captured and... and uh, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Interrogated? <laughs> interrogated. There we go. That's the word. I'm, I'm an English major. Uh, we'll definitely have them captured and interrogated. An English major? I thought you were a healer. Oh, sorry. Uh, yeah. He was, you know, he was an English major before he was a healer. So. Oh, wow. Yeah. I didn't know they had those in Faerun. It's a wild, it's a wild coincidence, really. Uh, so yeah, you drop everyone off and Sal seems kind of reluctant to leave. Like, he wants to make sure, personally, that every single person that you brought back is immediately brought back to full health, even though that is going to take several days. Ariad just like drags him out, like they are priests of Lathander. It's okay. I want to help. Forgive you. <laughs> you have helped. You've helped help. them a lot. But exactly. You know what? I will tell Eldath right now. Eldath, he's doing a great job. Don't be mad at him. There we go. You see, it's fine. But I want to help. I you'll, know. You'll be no help to them if you run yourself ragged. Exactly. But I'm feeling fine. Although it would be funny, <laughs> but it would not be good for them. <laughs> Speaking of which. Yeah, go Are ahead. we all in for a beer? <laughs> he, oh, in surprise, he looks back. He's like, oh, I didn't even think. You guys must be so tired after all that fighting you've been doing. He says, I'll tell you what, I'll, 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 a night on the inn is totally on me. Don't you worry about that. Nyla looks delighted. <laughs> Arias just looks like, oh, you should not have said that to her. Oh, no. <laughs> he says, Do you I think also, because I'm feeling so tired. So, so tired. And, you know, I think I took a couple hits that were actually aimed at you. Oh, no. Uh, I know. I know. <sighs> just so, you know, possibly do you think a mug of ale wouldn't go, you know, like a dinner, like a nice warm meal. Of course, we'll, of course we'll, get you, we'll, get you oh. not, we'll get you all fed. Don't you worry about nothing. I... Thank you so much. <laughs> I, I, he says, I took a little bit of money before I ran, I mean, before I left Baldur's Gate, and I have, um, uh, yeah, don't worry about it. I'll have more than enough to, you know, feed y'all. Nyla's, like, suddenly very interested. <laughs> Ariazi's, like, elbows her, like, thank you, Sal. Uh, he looks up and you down try. the street for a minute, and he says, well, we got, um, so the, uh, there are two, uh, well, the, actually, there are like four, but I, I narrowed the choices down to two of mm -hmm. two inns. There's the Dusty Hoof Inn or uh, or the Dusty Hoof Inn and Tavern or the Far Anchor Inn. Uh, the Dusty Hoof Inn and Tavern is um, cheaper, but it's not quite as um, like the food isn't as good. And you can tell just from the outside, you know, like when you just look at a restaurant, and you're like that place, you know, you got to be careful with the French onion soup, you know? <laughs> Uh, the far anchor it's is a called little the dusty hoof. Yeah, the far anchor is a little <laughs> bit further down the road. It's more expensive, but it's nicer. But then again, I mean, you Nyla... are going on someone else's dime, so what the hell do you care, right? I was gonna say, Nyla, <laughs> Nyla absolutely is already ushering Sal to the more expensive one. I, I, I want to be clear that if it were not for if Sal weren't paying for it, Nyla would be in the dusty hoof making friends with all of the low lives in like of five course. seconds. But... <laughs> Naturally. Uh, since she's not paying for it. <laughs> since she's not paying for it. Uh, so yes, the Far Anchor is a very nice establishment, you know, not very far from the water. And the moment everyone uh, piles in, Sal goes up to the uh, the innkeeper and he says, "Hello, I like a room for four, please, and also some real good meat, some real good food." And what what did you want, Nyla? Was it ale or beer? Just the, yeah, if I could get a like two pints, two pints of of what ale? Of uh, two pints of ale. Uh, and, you know, he's placing everyone's order and he's trying to be very assiduous and, you know, getting exactly what you want because, you know, <laughs> Sal is a big old pushover and he doesn't know how to say no to people. <laughs> Clearly. Yeah. I um, am a lot less grandiose in my requests. Uh, Two mugs of ale is not that much to ask for. Uh, so, in the uh, nicer inn. <laughs> uh, so Sal places the order. The the innkeeper uh, sends the order back to the kitchen, and he has you all. You're all sitting down around a table, and he says, "I don't think I ever said thank you for rescuing me, by the way, and for helping me with all these people that clearly needed help. So thank you very much. I really do appreciate it." You're welcome, Sal. 
You are welcome. Thank you for feeding us. Oh, it's the least I could do Thank after you. everything that y'all done. Then she like looks at Nyla like expecting her to also say thank you <laughs> no, no, it's and... like it's you know what i thank you so much for the alcohol that's just that's very kind of you i really appreciate it so now that this whole lovely mess is behind us i kick her under the table <laughs> ow <laughs> she like looks at you and she's like why did you kick me why i just raised her my now? her <laughs> why'd you kick her so wayne because sassy doesn't have feet Sassy's like, <laughs> it's like, oh yeah. And Sassy suddenly like slaps their ankles on the table, like, so mistress. <laughs> I am right here. I'm sorry. Are we, we worried about offending our host? We could go up to the room, but there are, the meal's about to arrive. I don't see the problem. <laughs> Nyla's delighted. She's like, no, you have to do. Sassy needs their feet back. I need my feet back, mistress. Yeah, and she's very hungry. Are you very hungry? I don't know what your title I'm... is and if sure. you eat at all today. <laughs> sure, hungry, whatever. Okay, <laughs> Okay, all right, all right. I uh, rummage around in my pack and find uh, find the feet. And mechanically, uh, I mentioned this to you uh, on in Discord a couple days ago. Uh, anytime um, uh, Selwyn, something on Sassy Breaks... Or, you know, some like a limb falls off or whatever, and Selwyn has to repair it. Uh, Sassy gets a little upgrade. Uh, mm. And did you copy and paste uh, the upgrade into uh, your character no. sheet or something? There it is, yeah. <laughs> so you can copy and paste that. Because uh, uh, it's one of those things that you're not going to know about. Like, it's there's no, there's no way to know about <laughs> it mechanically. Mm. Right. Uh, right. But you can copy and paste it into the chat so everyone knows. Because uh, anyone can make use of it. It's not necessarily you. Uh, for the listeners at home, the feat is called Rattle Bones. Pick Sassy up by the shoulders and shake them to generate the ominous sound of rattling bones, granting advantage to any intimidation check against any target who cannot see how ridiculous it looks. <laughs> Sassy does not like having their bones rattled and will only let this happen once per long rest. <laughs> so you have to do it around the corner or something. <laughs> they can't see you, but I deeply, you. deeply enjoy this. This is going to be a great amount of fun. I know, I love it. Awesome. Okay, so you're putting Sassy back together on the table. Yep, it's it's, yeah. it's a perfect little lapse for a conversation to happen, if one were to happen. I was if... working on it before I got kicked. <laughs> <laughs> Not that conversation. No, what, what other conversation do you want to have? One that doesn't involve you, Nyla. Okay, well, you start. <laughs> Salvador seems there. very confused. Selwyn was the one who knows what's in the documents. Oh, yeah. Salvador seems confused. He does not know what you're arguing about. Like y'all, y'all okay? Something happened. We think I this, uh, was making the case. <laughs> was not the only one. What? There's more. In There's another temple. Where? Myla looks very, very angry. <laughs> oh yeah, she just puts her hand over your mouth. Like, mm, don't talk. <laughs> No, no, I don't let that happen. Are you joking? No, Nyla definitely like gets. <laughs> this is very important, y'all. Where, where's this other temple? I'm trying to remember. Uh, Cormir. Uh, that was the location that you got, you interrogated or you hugged. Yeah. Uh, out of yeah. that first cultist in the cave. The letter <laughs> said Hullock. Yeah, I share that information with the group. Sal says Hullock. You mean like like the Hullock forests out near Arabelle? Presumably. We all turned to Ariazis. <laughs> Is it? <laughs> and Ariazis... I'm, like, I'm looking it up right now. I'm like, yeah. Uh, Ariazis, you don't need to look at the map. You have yeah. that feat. Uh, yeah, the yeah. Hullock forests are uh, are indeed near Arabelle. Uh, Arabelle is another big trading city. It's along two uh, intersecting trading routes. Um, and yeah, it, Hullock is definitely a forest. Uh, you know, ex you know where it is. It's not like it's about. As the bird flies, it's about as far from Baldur's Gate to Scornable as Scornable is to Arabelle. But there's like two mountain ranges and a lake between Scornable and Arabelle. So the, that adds to the travel time. Mm. Yeah, Lovely. that is the one. There's, you know, lots of mountains, giant lake. Uh, and you, just as, as you are saying this, the innkeeper uh, comes out and he's got all your food laid out for you on a big platter. And he sets it down and he says... Y'all heading to Arabelle? Is that what you said? We haven't decided yet, but we were... <laughs> he says, well, you know, it. Uh, there's a barge that goes down to Eriabor, and if you just follow the traitor's road through the Stormhorns, you can get to Arabelle in about two days. 
That sounds great. I've never been on a ship before. That sounds exciting. Says, well, I mean, it's just a barge. It's not much to look at, but I suppose. You've ever been on a ship before? I live in the forest. Where would I go on a ship? I just don't know. I don't know. <laughs> he says, well, the next barge should be leaving around dawn tomorrow if you need to go to Arabelle. All right. That sounds good. <laughs> he says, well, it's not my business or nothing. Just heard you talking. Lots of transients come through here, you know, on their way to some other spot. Mm -hmm. Anyway, enjoy your meal. <laughs> <You're> like, <laughs> he hands you the two mugs of ale on Nyla. <laughs> Nyla's like double fisting. <laughs> so I was like, that doesn't seem healthy. That seems like that's just too much for one little half. I, Nyla says between sips, I am in excellent physical condition. I do not need this lecture. <laughs> so I was like, all right, well, you know your body best, I suppose. Thank you. Roll constitution. <laughs> he says, well, if there's another temple, then we've, we for sure got to get there, don't we? I mean... Nyla looks up at you two and, like, is, like, glaring at you like, this This is what you asked for. Yes, we must I go. Mean, Those children. I, Those children. If we can learn anything more about the uh, weird lack of magic, that would also be good, too. And that's worrying me. Yeah, well, I mean, it doesn't seem to be affecting you, though, Miss Elwain, does it? No. I don't know magic stuff like they do, so, you know. <laughs> he says, all right, well, then, I sp is it decided, then, we 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 take the barge out at dawn and head to... I d no, no, I just want to have a question, again. Yes? When is the plan for going back to Baldur's Gate and returning you to your lovely family, who I'm sure is missing you so terribly... Just, you know, again, they probably, they're probably writing you heartsick notes, they're weeping, they're tearing their chests, isn't that the, I don't know what the terms are, but that's probably what's happening right now, and you're just sitting here callously, tracing so around. So Nyla, uh, when you first asked this question, I had you roll insight, so you already yeah. have done this, so Ariazis and Selwyn, I would like both of you to roll insight. Uh, okay. Um, so yeah, a 10 and a 9, wow, you're really, Great you're rolls. really fubbing, you're really yes. killing it. Great. Uh, you're really flubbing it with this with these insight rolls. Uh, so Sal <laughs> hesitates as you are talking, as you are trying to guilt trip him about his family missing him terribly, uh, and he says, uh, "It takes like after you're done with your little spiel." He says, "Well, I mean, I guess if you insist, I I suppose I could go back. But don't you? Wouldn't it be good if you had a healer with you to help you? I, I'm tot I'm absolutely fine. I don't mind coming along with you." Nyla like Strong. raises her eyebrow at him. <laughs> She's like. That is a good point. Yeah, that is a good point. You know, they you are get into trouble a lot. Insistent that we have to go to this place. He says, "No, I would absolutely not mind at all." You know, I'm a he's, healing is pretty much the only thing I'm really good at. You know. Okay, but after and now turns and looks at all of you. After we rescue the next temple, then we're going back to Baldur's Gate, right? Can we just all agree? Self fidgets uncomfortably. I mean, I'd like to head back in that direction because I'd like to meet up with my professor at Candlekeep, but, uh, I mean, I can also why just send him a letter. Why don't we see, you know, what happens when we get there, hmm? I'm so- I just- I have a quick question here, and I just- this is for the group in general. Uh, how are we supposed to pay for these grand adventures? Because I don't know about you, but I don't have a lot of- you know, I'm like, I'm- I'm secure, I can make it through the day, but, like, the about reason I took up gold on me. Nyla turns <laughs> the giant grin on her face. You have oh. what? Well, I'm, I'm the son of a duke. I, I've uh, 300 gold ain't too much for the son of a duke. It's not a big problem. I don't mind. So there you go. could now furnish... Have, yes, money. Great. Our now expedition. you can come with us. Um, <laughs> well, I don't imagine it would cost all that much. You know, just, you know, tavern stays and food and everything. Well, what about things like healing potions? Well, you don't need healing oh, potions. Yeah. You got a healer. What if you get hurt? I just won't get hurt then, won't I? I'll just have cure wounds prepared, okay? I can do that at least. Pamela <laughs> stares at you again, like every time you guys <laughs> ruining <laughs> ruining her plan. Uh huh. She's like, I guess, but just it's something to think about. Just you know that maybe it's something to okay. <sighs> I guess we could go rescue these children. Oh, thank God. I don't uh, want to go back to Belgium. I mean, uh, yeah, <laughs> let's go. Definitely. I'm sorry. Wait, uh, did, did nothing, you all hear that? Nothing, nothing. Just nothing. Uh, Nyla turns to Selwyn and Ariazis. Did, did you just hear what our young friend here said? Of course. Mm, yes, I have ears. They work. 
Did you did you hear? It sounds to me I like uh, I didn't. Uh, uh, I'm sorry. Sounds to me like our friend Sal like does not maybe want to go back. He doesn't want to be pushed on it. I, Perhaps I, another I, time, I, another conversation, another time. What? Nyla, we're all very tired. We've been up about 24 hours. Maybe we could talk about it after Look, we've had some rest. one rats. of us ran for like 600 miles or something. I don't remember. It's not that it was a long time. Ago. It That's not why that you far. should go to bed and we should talk to him. Good night, Nyla. He says, no, don't, don't, be, don't be mean. No, let's... Oh, I really didn't want to have to talk about this. And, you know, it's probably nothing anyway, right? It's probably not a big deal. It's, it's just, you know... He 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 is fidgeting. Like he really does not want to talk about this. Uh, you know, he's like pushing his food around his plate, and you know, spinning his his uh, a mug of ale. Uh, and he says, "It's just that you know, lately my my father, who I love very much, uh, has been really really pressuring me to to get married to a woman that I do not know." Oh. And I am a little concerned, just a little concerned, and maybe it's just me being silly. I'm a little concerned that if I keep saying no, that he's going to force me to get married against my will. He so humans do could that? do that? He says, well, How? Not, not generally, but it, the, the rules are a little different on account of me being the son of a duke. That's wow. shitty. Yeah, yeah, it's a little shitty, especially since I don't even like girls. No offense to all a present, you know, it's nothing, it's not about <laughs> taken. I would marry oh, you anyway. Just my, like, oh, that's fine, more for me. <laughs> it's a good attitude. <laughs> Less competition. Just him on the back, like, if I had to marry someone I didn't want, I didn't even know, that's, that's just weird. Ooh, yeah, that. he's been very insistent lately, which is why I ran away, uh, and... I don't know. I, I, I'm sure. I'm sure it's just me. I'm sure you know. If I come back a couple weeks later and it, it's everything will be fine. He'll have forgotten all about it. Probably. He he is a good person. He's he's a nice person generally. He's just you know, really insistent on me being married. You know what? After this, I'm sure we can go back and threaten. I mean, convince him <laughs> to uh, nicely using very nice words. Uh, not threatening words, by the way, <laughs> to change his mind. He says, "Yeah, yeah, you know, I'm sure, I'm sure you can talk him out of it. That's that's that'll probably work, right?" And you 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 have a sneaking suspicion that this is just Sal's general optimism about life. You have no idea how easy, <laughs> how easily persuaded uh, the Grand Duke Ardwin Porter is. Right. Doesn't it's not a name that lends itself to easy. Uh... Uh, easy persuasion in my mind at least hmm. so so you ran away so did you actually even get kidnapped no well i mean i did get kidnapped but only because i ran away <laughs> the whole time just sitting there trying to rescue kidnap people it turns out they do it to themselves <laughs> well that, you know that that's not fair that's just me that's that did that not victim blame now that's not nice neither <laughs> I'm just saying, you run away from home, what do you expect? That's what my parents told me, and look how I ended up. Oh, yeah, you're absolutely right. That's a terrible story. <laughs> <laughs> That's a terrible foreboding story. <laughs> I'm sure they would say that. I personally think I turned out fine, but I'm just saying, running away is apparently bad for me. You're so close to home, do you want to stop by and say hello to them, Nala? I, you know, it's, I saw them. Like, two weeks ago. They're sick of me by now. I We have a yearly visit, and it's just, you know. Two weeks ago? Yep. We were with you two weeks ago. Yeah. Shut up. <laughs> uh, Sal seems, uh, seems empathetic. He says, I know how it is with parents, you know. Sometimes you really care about them, and you want to give them a big old hug, and then sometimes they hit you really hard, and they give you a concussion. You know, it's just sometimes what? What? Sometimes you guys is like, no, nope, I do, I do not know that. Tricky. That is not very. Parents <laughs> are not normal. Nyla looks horrified. <laughs> parents can be tricky, is all I'm saying, and it's all right if you don't want to visit them. Besides, we got a barge to catch tomorrow morning, don't we? Nyla yeah, looks we at Ariel's and is like, "This convincing is going to be harder than you think it is." Yep. Yep, it sure is. I don't know how to convince people that like to concuss. I don't know what verb that is, but anyway. Yeah, concuss. No, that's the right one. To concuss, yeah. 
All right. Uh, so you finish up your meal. Is there anything else you want to talk about uh, while you are while you're uh, gathered and assembled and enjoying? It's it's actually pretty good food. This is one of the nicer uh, taverns in the city. Mm, fancy. <laughs> I mean, I definitely just like really enjoying food. I think I think it's right, probably Nala's been a long. Like, ee, 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 ee. I think it's probably been a long time that Nala's had like an actual like really good meal that's not. Sal like, Sal is absolutely amazed by your capacity to hold your drink, and like it becomes like a point of fascination. Like he keeps ordering ales for you just to see how long it'll take <laughs> oh before God. you get drunk. Oh, bad idea. Oh, yeah, just, bad like, idea. Hand out, like, stop, and by like by the end of the night, like Sal is like leaning over to you, Sal, and's like like. At this point, she must have drunken more than physically her body can handle. <laughs> like, she must have drunken more ale than her body would displace in a pool of water. You know what I mean? Uh-huh. <laughs> she's still drinking. <laughs> I think I think at this point she's, like, tipsy. Like, <laughs> God. She's gotten to the point where she's, like, she's, like, getting a buzz. <laughs> it's like, I'm just, I'm fascinated. I am. I'm fascinated. This is this is a family trait, you know. Entire family. We all hold- are alcoholics. Father, they're not alcoholics. <laughs> we should we should go visit them and we should test this. I'm so curious. But it's no. Do I recommend Bartender, that we visit your family more, please? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm all for science, but pickling your liver isn't the best way to go about it. No, it's all right. If she wants to stop, she just has to let me know. <laughs> I, you know, I think that's this not is just how a it Tuesday works. night, friends. Come on, actually, I, I would argue you guys have definitely seen me do this before. <laughs> oh yeah, without a doubt. That's why I'm like, yeah, it's science. But they're always opposed to it. <laughs> is the point? Right. I don't know why you're opposed to people having a good time. I don't know what's wrong with people enjoying themselves and just drinking. The bartender a comes lot. over and puts two more drinks in front of you. <laughs> Ariaz is like, do you think she would float in water if she passed out? I don't know. Uh, we probably shouldn't test it, though. That seems dangerous. No, I definitely don't. Mm. I don't know if I like this conversation. <laughs> <laughs> no, please, continue drinking. Just don't mind us. Uh, so the innkeeper... <clears throat> excuse me. Uh, so the innkeeper gives you keys uh, to your room, and it's a very nice room uh, with four uh, single beds laid out against one long wall. There's a big chest of drawers and a very nice window overlooking the river. Uh, yeah, this is a this is a pretty swanky place. You have never, I'm gonna guess, you probably have not made a habit of staying in nicer places. No, You're probably not. No, <laughs> I don't know about you guys, but I have only 15 gold. So yeah, no, the nice places are not for us. <laughs> yep, Sal is happy to pay. Uh, he are he paid in advance. And anything y'all want to do? Uh, Sassy has his uh, his new feet, by the way. Oh, excellent. <laughs> nice. Scare children. <laughs> what? With Sassy's new thing. No, we are, we are not <laughs> going to use children. Sassy to scare children. And rattle some bones at them. Nyla. No, we are no. not. I'm, gonna, no, I'm going not. to assume that this is drunk Nyla. <laughs> yeah. Who wants to go out of her way to scare children. That's not good, Nyla. We're not going to hurt the children. We're just... No, we're Nyla. It's fun. It's so, just a prey. All right, time for someone to get some sleep drunky. Come on. <laughs> Nyla's like she's staggering. She's still not trashed. Like you'd think, like she should be trashed, but she's not trashed. She's just like drunk. Up to bed, y'all. Get that. come on. <laughs> okay, Nyla goes to bed. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Uh, so you all go to bed. Mm-hmm. All right. Uh, so you all benefit from a long rest. You all get a Woo-hoo. good night's sleep. Uh, all your spell slots are back, and you can take this opportunity to prepare new spells if you want to. So long. Yay! Uh, you wake up a little before dawn the next day, uh, and it is a lovely, if foggy, day uh, in uh, in the city. And the innkeeper uh, thanks you for your patronage and guides you. Uh, the barge that you will want to take is on the other river fork, and he tells you, you know, just go straight across the field, just straight south. You can't miss the other port. Uh, and you come up on this enormous, uh, it's this lonely port just at the end of just a road. Like, the road out of Scornable stops at this enormous, it's gotta be, you know, 500 feet in either direction, uh, a port. And there is only, 
no, actually, at this time of day, there's probably like uh, two barges, one much larger uh, than the other, both docked at this port. And there is cargo coming, um, being loaded on and off onto big wagons waiting on the uh, on the dock. So I says, oh gosh, I guess we should ask which one goes where. That is true. Most human looking person should ask. Oh, me? Oh, Okay. Uh, so I was like, I mean, uh, that's okay, that's fair. Although in my experience, most humans tend to think I'm an elf, and most elves tend to think I'm a human. Uh, you know, that's fine. Perfect. <laughs> uh, so he walks up and he talks to the um, he talks to the dock master, and the dock master is pointing at him. And I would like the rest of you to roll perception for me. Oh boy. Man, oh, nice. <laughs> we all rolled in. Oh, wow. Wow. All right. Cool. Uh, so Nyla. Um, as Sal is, you know, talking to the dockmaster, and you can hear him say, so which one goes to the south? Um, uh, you see, um, someone in, um, uh, a long, uh, a long waxed brown leather cloak, and they are tugging along another figure at a, maybe like four feet tall, also cloaked, and that person is on a, a rope lead, like a leash, and they are sort of pulling this, this person, this figure is like shambling behind them sort of unevenly. And even further behind that, they have a small team of people carrying a huge, it's got to be like 12 feet in either direction, uh, crate uh, with, uh, with air holes punched in the side. Uh, and that crate is being um, carried behind this figure uh, who is pulling this, this uh, shape, this person on a rope lead uh, toward the, uh, the southernmost docked barge. Is, does anybody like aside from like my companion? Does anybody else notice this? This seems like a like a big procession. That's very like it's like it looks like slavery to me. Uh, well, the thi- well here the thing is like there's a lot of really like the most noticeable thing is the huge twelve foot by twelve foot box. But there are a lot of really huge containers being loaded onto on and off of these barges. Okay, so it's like blending in. Yeah. So the person on the lead is a little weird. Um, but okay. you know the the uh whoever is pulling them along is doing their best to like you know keep it subtle. Gotcha. Okay, so I like. Oh God, it's me. I hate helping people. I turned. You're the one that saw. God damn it. And I look like there's like that thing where you like you're like looking at it. You're like, should I do it? Should I not do it? You're like weighing it. And I. Nyla turns to, uh, I guess, whoever's closest to me, Salwade or Ariazis, and like, like mutters to them, like, "Do you see the man being captured over there, or person? I don't know if it's a man." And I like subtly point them out. By this point, uh, the person the sh- the person who is uh, being pulled on, pulled on a lead, uh, they're kind of shambling in their steps, and they're pulled up onto uh, the the long uh, plank up to the uh, up to the barge. Their hood is up; you cannot see any distinguishing features of them. Yeah, that looks a little weird. Do we think that's maybe cultists? I think that's the one we should get on. Mm-hmm. Uh, Sal comes go. back over. He says, "It's that one," and he points to the one that the shambling, the shambling person just got on. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, great, good. I'm so glad. Let's get on it right now. And we, I already paid our way, so we're all fine for for, for that. Okay, okay. Before Sal goes and ruins any kind of cover we might have, Sal, there appears to be some sort of bad situation going on. There was some oh sort no, what kind of bad situation? Oh, this is exactly what I wanted to avoid. Um, <laughs> Sal's looking around frantically, like, where's the bad no, thing? Sal, no, no. Sal, 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 calm. <laughs> Just yes. chill, chill. Um, some person appears to be captured. They were they were on a rope lead. It was very... Uh, I was uncomfortable with... <laughs> what oh, appears no. to be some sort of kidnapping but oh, no. we can't just barge on there and kill everyone <laughs> barge. no pun intended barge. Barge. <laughs> <laughs> says, oh well i suppose that's true but you know what if they really need help well then we'll be on the same barge and we can help exactly we can true. look at them we can listen secretly i was like oh i suppose that's true all right well i suppose we 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 keep we keep a we keep a close eye on them so is the box that was loaded being carried on too? Uh, the box is in a long line of enormous crates that is being lifted onto the barge via crane. Is it so? Is it is far enough back that I could go over and take a look at it? You there is no way. The, the 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 air holes are punched so high that you could not look in. You could get okay. a closer look at the crate itself if you wanted. Yeah, yeah. I want to. So I, I'm gonna put my hood up and try to go over and see. But like I'm trying to sneak over and see if I can get anything else about it. All right. Uh, so the crate is there's. Not a whole lot to it. It's made of fairly typical wood. 
um, that all of the uh, that all the crates are made of. Uh, it is it does not have any stamp. Like a lot of them ha- are stamped with identifying markings, you know, with, with uh, branding. Uh, this one is not, uh, but that doesn't seem to be a problem. It's uh, it's raised up onto the uh, onto the barge all the same. Okay. Do I hear anything coming in? Is there like anything I can hear inside of it? The wood is Just... too thick. Okay. Um. <laughs> uh, if you have like some chalk or something, you could make a mark in thieves' can't so that we could identify it later. That's true. That's a good point. Okay. Do you have <laughs> so, chalk? Do I have chalk? <laughs> I don't know. It's because people don't let me have any money, so I can't buy anything. <laughs> it should be part of your pack. I don't know. I'm just saying. Explore well, I've got a cos- or disguise kit, which is there's like cosmetics and dye there and like you use some so, lipstick. Yeah, I'm gonna use some. Li- I'm gonna use some goddamn lipstick. Awesome. <laughs> so I, I take it out and I like. I think I just make like a surreptitious like X on it or something like that. Okay. Uh, you mark it with an X to just identify it later. Yeah. Okay, and then I go back and I'm like, I t- and like there was a crate that was associated with it, but I can't tell anything about it, so I just mark it. We'll have to check it out once it once it gets on the on the barge. So I was like, all right. Uh, he ha- Sal has not seen like the person was already on the barge, uh, but he is very eager to you know put, to figure out which one it is, so he can keep a very close eye on them. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so yeah, uh, you all board uh, the, the the barge. Uh, there is a a large uh, swarthy uh, uh, a captain who turns to you and she smiles at you sort of tiredly and she says, "Well, it's very nice to meet you. My name is Abriel Warwater. You're the ones that actually paid fare, right? Do people not actually pay you? You know, sometimes it gets a little tedious. We there's this clause that our our beloved political leader uh, and scornable has ins- instituted that you know if if they if they have a if they have a shop in the city and they have cargo they need to transport that they don't have to pay fare it gets a little tedious sometimes but uh, yes. Are there any of those individuals boarding right now? It's mostly those individuals. Yes. <gasps> and she says so. Thank you in advance for actually paying your way. Of you're course, so welcome. Sounds like oh you're welcome. You know fair's fair is fair. <laughs> that Sorry. was funny there's just a lot of puns today it's good <laughs> so I was like what <laughs> <laughs> why are you laughing I don't get it no- nothing sweet child nothing at all I'm 25 <laughs> I don't know how many times I have to remind you that I have a 25 year old fully grown adult that's it's, just, it's just you say child. that but I have no evidence so it's <laughs> Oh yeah, she you just pushes what? Nyla. It's like it's okay. Let's just go. Thank you we'll, so much. We'll Captain. ask your father once we meet him. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> like oh yay, talking to my father. It's true to say, sure is. Yep. All right. So you make it onto the barge. So this is a uh, a very uh, a very Spartan uh, vessel, right? It's almost it's the entire upper dock is like almost exclusively uh, for cargo. The captain tells you the name of your quarters, and it is not as nice as the quarters that you just left uh, in Scornable. <laughs> oh. It's literally just three hammocks strung up between the corners. <laughs> Nyla's, like, really excited to get on it, and then she sees that, and she just, <laughs> like, throws her bag down and, like, sulks over to a hammock. It's all right, Nyla. Any place can be comfortable with the right attitude. <laughs> That's what my mother used to say. <laughs> I hated I didn't like my it when mother. She said it either. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I killed her. No. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> so Nyla puts her stuff down and then uh she like turns around and she goes, I'm gonna go scope out the place. I gotta make sure there's nothing going on. So I was like, alright, I don't know what that means, but you know, if you got if you need if you need to do it to feel safe, okay. <laughs> Alright, so what are you so, looking for, Nyla? I think I'm gonna check, like I wanna see if there's I, I don't know. I guess it's a little roll of perception check. I want to see if there's anything like odd or unusual. Like, are there any like rooms that there's weird noises coming from? Or <laughs> I, um, I just want to stalk around the place and see if I can notice anything. Uh, sure. All right. Let's go ahead and roll perception. Oh shit. Whoa. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. <laughs> Maybe somebody else should check. <laughs> no, don't meta game. Uh, uh, so, no, uh, you don't notice anything. Uh, nothing particularly suspicious, Nyla. 
Uh, most of the pass like well, first of all, there's a lot more cargo than there are passengers. You know, like um, mm -hmm. it, most people have an, an automated system where they just autom they just they just ship anything they want to ship and they don't they leave it unaccompanied, and they have someone pick it up at their destination. Uh, so there are not a lot of passengers. You see uh, six rooms uh, in the lower quarters, which is the same uh, the same level that your quarters are on. Uh, and two of the doors are shut and the rest of them are, well, one of them is yours and the other three are open. Um, I think Nyla's going to check out the empty room or the ones that are open. Uh, the ones that are open, they're pretty much just like yours. Some of them have more okay. hammocks than yours, though. That's li <laughs> that's pretty much the only difference between them. <laughs> okay. Nyla goes back to the group and she goes, well, other groups have more. Ha we only have three hammocks and they had. Sassy's like, it's fine. I don't sleep anyway. Four. <laughs> I, I wasn't planning on yeah did my antlers would get tangled uh, that sounds bad don't like it <laughs> i trance <laughs> perfect Your antlers would get tangled do you know i toss a lot i'm used to stable ground i <laughs> was <laughs> <laughs> cackling she's like so delighted she's like i have to see it Are you sure it's you why i'm sleeping on the floor <laughs> <laughs> oh this is so good okay so sal and i are the only ones going to be in the hammock I mean, I'll probably steal a hammock for a while, but... Uh, so I would like all of you to roll con to see how you do on the sea, or on the river, technically. <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, it's fair is fair. I'll have Sal roll, too. What about Sassy? Oh Sassy God. does not have a stomach. Oh, no, Sal. Oh, oh no, Sal. Oh, no. Oh, poor baby. Oh, oh no! <laughs> <laughs> These are excellent. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, you all can't roll worth the good goddamn. Wait, yeah. I rolled a 14? <laughs> uh, so yeah, so Nyla, you are pretty much the only one of the party, and I guess Sassy too, who does not get seasick. Uh, it's I, think, I think Nyla's used to, like, she's lived on the river, so. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. She probably has been on, you know, ships and barges before. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, but Sal has absolutely not done that, and oh, that the poor child. He bar he definitely barfs out the window twice. <laughs> Delightful, sympathetic barfing. <laughs> Nyla's sort of smugly sitting in a corner, being like, "You city folk, you're just not used to the, you know, you gotta get the good country barge lifestyle. It's not as fun as I had hoped." <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, is there anything you want to do? They, they, there is like a, there's a little meal. It's nothing fancy. It's bread, cheese, and kind of uh, old stale wine. Uh, so, I think it sounds like Sal and Selwyn stick to the room. Because, uh, what about the other two? Do you want to go down and have have a meal, or do you want to have it brought up to your, what passes for your room? Oh, I'm definitely going down and having a meal with the, with the group because I want to. And Arias, like, Arias is definitely going to follow her. Like, nope, can't keep her without. <laughs> I can't leave water. her alone for a minute. <laughs> <laughs> and Sassy doesn't count as a chaperone. <laughs> oh, Sassy can't. Sassy can't. Like, if there's uh, there's so few people that someone's going to notice it's a skeleton. It's like, <laughs> that's exactly. <a> skeleton. <laughs> oh no. Sassy stays with you. Uh, but Arias <laughs> and Selwyn, you go down, and I would like each of you to roll perception to see if yeah. you notice anything unusual at the dinner. Ariazis and Nyla. Ariazis and Nyla, yeah. sorry. I was like, I perception. can words. Ha! Hey, finally a good perception roll. <laughs> oh! Hey! The one yeah, time you get a good perception roll, uh, you get oh, shown up. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, Ariazis uh, and I guess Nyla too. Nothing particularly unusual happens in this meal. The one thing you do notice, however, is that the person who was being who is dragging another figure on a rope lead uh, is not present. Interesting. Ariazis, who did not see this person, is like, do you see anybody that looks like that person? No, they're definitely missing. They're not here. So they must be doing... How many? So how many other guests are there? Uh, there are, are a total of in? four. Two in each of the uh, of the closed door rooms, you presume. Uh, but then there are only two that you see at the, uh, at the, at the mess hall with you. Okay, so there's two others that are prob that are eating dinner in their room, probably. There aren't a lot of places they they can be. There's not a lot of of barge. There's not a lot of space yet on the barge that has okay. nothing on it. <laughs> um, so I, Nyla turns to Ariazis and is like, "So they're not here. Mm -hmm. That must be. They must be in their room. They must be. We should try to find out more information about them." 
I'm just, I'm not comfortable with this, the weird slavery situation going on. Oh, you're not comfortable with the slavery, but the children you're fine with. I didn't say we are interesting I'm not, morals. I'm not anti rescuing children. I'm just also not strongly pro rescuing children. <laughs> okay, what about talking to those people over children there? Are you neutral. pro or for or against <laughs> talking to them? I would say I am ambivalent about talking to people over there. <laughs> you are very small and adorable. Maybe I am. They will not I to am you. not. <laughs> she pulls herself up to her full height of three feet. <laughs> I am not adorable. How right, right. You keep telling yourself dare that. you. <laughs> <laughs> I am fearsome. She pulls her hood up. <laughs> yes. So, so what are you doing? Are we talking or are we sneaking? Hmm. What are we doing? Uh, we should talk to people first and see if we can get any information, and then and then maybe we'll take a stroll after dinner. Sorry, I just gonna like stand up and sway and be like, oh, oh no. <laughs> yeah, standing up is not easy for you right now, Arya. Oh dear. <laughs> so the ground Arika... is moving. You go without me. I will follow. Maybe I will <laughs> fall on my face. I'm not sure yet. Oh god, this is what happens when you take a bunch of land lovers on a river. <laughs> um, so I want to go talk to the guests, the the two that are uh, like not not from the ship. Okay. Uh, these two guests are burly looking humans, um, one slightly larger than the other, sort of sullenly and silently uh, eating their uh, their meal of hardtack and cheese. Do I still, I'm assuming you said there was wine? Yeah, stale <laughs> wine. Not very good. Like, terrible. <laughs> <laughs> I think I sit down with a glass of wine and a hair. You know, you can't get a good glass of wine on a, on a barge. What is it coming to these days? The bigger one goes... Like an agreement, like, yeah. How about you, friend? I look at the other one. Uh, the other one doesn't say anything. He just chews his bread slowly, eyeing you like he's not sure why you're here. <laughs> Ariazis finally makes it over there like, okay, <laughs> the ground is not moving now, I think. Uh, both oh humans boy. look at you a little distrustfully. You know, it's the tiefling response. You're used to Hello. it by now, Ariazis. Yes, I... I noticed that you noticed that I have a tiefling. Hi, I am trying not to throw up. <laughs> That's a good idea. Nyla's looking, Nyla's looking horrified at you. Like, I was trying to get intel and you come over here and you tell people you're going to throw up. I, I'm just, I'm sorry, is, my, is this person bothering you? Are you talking to them? <laughs> yes, I'm talking to them about you. <laughs> is this small child bothering you? <laughs> Uh, the, the bigger of the two slowly shakes his head like, no. Okay, good, because I probably couldn't stop her because I'm not good with barges. It's my very first time on a barge. Have you guys been on barges before? Uh, the bigger one nods slowly. Like, he has no idea what your game is. Nyla's taken a step back and is just laughing like <laughs> insanely in a corner. Like she's gonna let she's gonna let Ariazis do this. She is gonna let her <laughs> do this stupid thing. You've been on many barges. That sounds excellent. How do you not throw up? You get used to it. Oh, you get used to it. Great. I'm from the forest, so I don't really get used to it when it, the ground is moving. You know, I'm not used to that. He says. You know what helps? What? He slides the wine over to you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, right. Getting drunk, of course that would help. And she downs it. They just sort of watch you drink the entire cup in like one long swing. Like, huh. Yes, I am sorry. I drank all of your wine. That was very rude of me. <laughs> it's all right. Shit wine anyway. It was pretty bad. <laughs> and I think, I think it's helping. You are very smart. I am still going to sit down, though, if that's okay, so I don't throw up on anybody. Is it true tieflings come around when a human fucks a demon? <laughs> you know, I wouldn't know because they left me in the forest to die. They both nod like, yeah, understandable. Yeah, so you know, <laughs> my father told me that humans, no offense, are usually pretty terrible people. <laughs> <laughs> they do seem to take some offense to that, interestingly. I mean, I don't know you guys. What about, I mean, I'm sure there are great things about humans. I don't really know. <laughs> they uh, continue to stare at you in silence. <laughs> You're swinging a miss on that one, Ariasis. <laughs> She's like, I, okay, I, 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 I'm very sorry for offending anybody. 
I am a very good tiefling. I'm just a druid, you see. Like, there's, I don't like hurting people. I just like being on the ground where I can stand properly. They do not. This say is not anything. as fun as I'd hoped. <laughs> they do not say anything. Wow, you guys are bad at this, huh? Oh man. Well, like, oh. somebody's not helping me, but she's like, anyway, we're we were planning on going to um, Haluk. Do you know anything about that place? A forest. Yes, you're right. I love forests. Anything else that you know about it? <laughs> we ain't from Cormer. Oh, where are you from? I love traveling. Please tell me where you're from. And good <laughs> stories, if you have any. <laughs> I had, a, I had a, like a fight to get to, but okay, I guess we're doing this. <laughs> uh, one of them says, uh, we're from outside Waterdeep. Oh, okay, okay, I know that better. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You said you wanted roleplay. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I just didn't expect you to like want to pry the life story out of these two fucking randos whose name I had to get with a name generator. <laughs> that's great. All right, so you're not from you're from Waterdeep. That's that's very interesting. She like suddenly realizes that Nyla is like gone. She's like, oh, okay. Nyla's, Nyla's there, but she's on the other side of the room and she's been cackling. And, and she, like, like, turns around and she's like, what, what are you doing? Come back over here. <laughs> no, no, I was bothering the gentleman. I think I'm fine. She is like, <laughs> fine. <laughs> she's, she's doing that thing, you know, like, the thing that white girls do where you sit in a corner with a glass of wine and you judge people? <laughs> That's what she's doing. <laughs> right. <laughs> anyway, ignore her. Yeah, we, I, I have good stories. Okay, so we found these cultists, right? Oh my god. So funny. Nyla comes over and is like, well, I think it's time for us to go. My friend is drunk and it's just, you know what? It's time for us to not be here. It was lovely to meet you two gentlemen. Enjoy <laughs> your still is like, wine. Wait, what? Okay. <laughs> she is didn't hear about the manticore yet. About as ineffectually as a three foot, foot person. Uh, <laughs> and I'm assuming that Ariazis is like six foot tall or something. Yeah, she's like five. Yeah, five seven. Is She's that with like or without the horns? By the way, without that's the horns. true. Yeah, five seven without the horns. So with the horns, yeah. probably like yeah. Is this like a Gila thing? Does she look like Gila? Maybe. Okay. That's I don't fair. know. Anyways, <laughs> good job questioning them. Right, we did a good job. Now <laughs> you got absolutely no information out of them. As, as now is walking away, she's like, that went so badly. You need to leave the interrogating to me. You have no... Right, she's like, but I know that they're from Waterdeep. That's so I was important. Trying... That's not important at all. I was trying to find out if they had heard anything about their neighbors or anything weird. And instead, oh, you're asking about their life Oh, that's story. what you wanted to know. Oh, yeah. okay. Sorry, my mistake. Okay, next time you leave this to me. Remember, one of us is really good at pretending to talk to people. <laughs> Okay, fine. You can try next time. I did. I was like pushing you up. The I stairs. will not interfere next time. Then are we going to sneaky sneaky? I am. You. <laughs> you are not going to do anything. You're going to stay right here. You can watch, but that's it. I'm going to try to to actually. I guess first I'm going to try to casually walk down the hallway and see if I you know see anything in the guest quarters, like if the doors are open or. Uh, nope. The same two doors that are clo that were closed before are still closed. You okay. still cannot hear and anything. No hearing anything. Um, is there any way to access them or look in from the outside? I mean, each one has like a porthole window, but you'd have to like go on, you know, climb down the outside of the ship. <laughs> I mean, that Which doesn't like, seem like a good idea. That sounds like a lot of fun. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> you're right. There's Please. also a very <laughs> high probability of catastrophe if you try that. <laughs> Can Nyla swim? I, so I think I, I go back and confer with Ariazi. It's like, do you have any magic way to like open the door, maybe, or like you like, come see in? Inside our where room? Are, where are you when you were saying this? The hallway. <laughs> okay, but not like not the hallway outside of there. Like I, we went back to like. I don't have anything that opens doors because I generally prefer to do that myself. Salvador uh, looks up from puking into Bucky's. Like I can't open doors with magic. Just try to oh, be helpful. He can open doors with magic. That's oh. so cool. <laughs> He's very, very sick. Poor baby. <laughs> you can open doors with magic? This is delightful new information. Well, I mean, it, it has to, like you could right now, though. It has to be unlocked, <laughs> but yeah. It's just, I can unlock doors. It, it's just a little cantrip is all. You know what, Sal? Just why don't you come with me for a small trip down the hallway? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Sal, like, despite, like, he, like, he wants to be helpful more than he wants to, you know, not barf, so. Oh, no. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna, so if it's a, it's a hallway, is there 
like are the two entrances on either side like what's the setup if can i set up post a guard is what i'm asking uh yeah the, it's a it's a small hallway there are just two doors on either side uh on the on the <laughs> far end of the hallway there's the stairway leading up and down to the upper and lower levels then on the far end there's like a very like you could you would calling it a lobby would be kind of a charity like there's a barrel and a chair <laughs> <laughs> okay oh. so i have an idea I could create the odor of a skunk in their room, and then they'll come out <laughs> because it smells horrible. That actually sounds delightful. <laughs> what spell are you trying to do this with? Druidcraft. Um, can you copy paste the uh, the description for me? Because normally with cantrips, it has to be a spot you can see within At your range. location for the next twenty four hours. No, that's the. Doo -doo -doo. You create an instantaneous harmless sensory effect, such as the faint odor of a skunk. Five foot cube. Okay. I mean, it doesn't say you have to be able to see it, so I suppose you could try it. <laughs> Ariaz is like, yeah, eh? <laughs> so I guess, so we need to, like, maybe, maybe, maybe you'll just look like you're walking down the hallway and you'll run into them as they open the door. Why don't we do that? Oh, you want to make it look like I pass gas? Oh, very funny. <laughs> <laughs> just, it's for the effect, Ariaz. It's oh, yeah, the stinky tiefling. Okay, okay, I see. <laughs> we all have to make sacrifices for our art. <laughs> art yeah okay <laughs> all right so you want me to walk down the hall and then cast it as i'm walking you want yes. me to oh yes okay. i think so and nyla's gonna hide behind like the barrel <laughs> <laughs> the one barrel okay yep so am i supposed to be like walking to as though i'm going to our room or like where does this hallway go guys this is an empty hallway okay you are overthinking Great. this so much <laughs> okay fine so she's just going to just cast it and be like, go under the door. <laughs> okay, you cast Druidcraft, and by all you like, you can't tell. Like you cast it out. Of, it's only a five foot five foot cube, I believe. Um, yep. And yeah, you you would not be in range to smell it for yourself, but you cast it. It seems to have worked, uh, and nothing happens. <laughs> I turn around and like look at everyone, just like kind of shrug. <laughs> well, okay then. I guess no one's in there. Let's open the door. <laughs> you want to open the door? I mean, it is locked. You would have to pick the lock. Yeah, oh, it was, she's like, yeah, you, you got keys. like with her hands. You Unlock. Got... Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pick the door. <laughs> okay, uh, roll sleight of hand. Whoa, that's a nat twenty. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa! It's a wasted nat twenty because it's like the DC yeah, it really is, is like ten. <laughs> it's like, she yeah, touches the door. It's like, yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> the door's like, I'll, let me just stop you before you even touch me. <laughs> yeah, like, like just, yeah, it's fine. I'll it's, unlock. I'll open for yeah, you. Like, it's fine. It's like, it's like, is it actually locked? Are you sure it was? <laughs> Uh, so yeah, you successfully unlock the door. You want to open it? I think I'm going to put the hood of my cloak up and I'm going to like crack it and see if I can see anything. Uh, well, the inside is dark. Uh, it looks like maybe, uh, uh, either no one's in there or they're already asleep. And it is like, it's like, it's still, there's still light out. So it'd be a little weird, uh, if they were, if, if the person was already asleep. Uh, but it is dark and you cannot see into it. Not with just a little sliver of light. Uh, Nyla turns back to you to, uh, Sal and um, Ariasis and is like whispering. She's like, "Should I go in?" Did you out of to... character, both of them have dark vision. Yeah, right. Yeah, everyone oh, in the shit. party except you has dark vision. Ariasis is like, "I can see, you, can't you?" <laughs> Nyla will shoot you a look, and then I would like to imagine that there is some that awkward shuffling whenever you're all trying to quietly move in an area and switch positions. <laughs> <laughs> forgot sorry <laughs> well you take a look then okay what uh, do i so see like scooby so scooby-doo style you all sort of crane your head <laughs> exactly the crack exactly. Of the door look inside uh yes. nyla you you can't see anything the only there's there's a tiny little bit of light coming in through the crack in the door and there's a tiny little bit of light coming through the porthole but not enough to illuminate anything uh, substantially but salvador and ariazis you can both see uh, the figure, uh, presu well, you, you don't know if it, for sure if it's the figure because you didn't see it, but you see a hooded uh, sort of stumped figure uh, with a rope leash uh, tied around its neck and attached to the hammock. It is sitting quietly uh, in the corner and not moving. And also now you can smell the, the skunk thing. You can, <laughs> you can smell that now. Well, at least I know it worked. <laughs> what worked? What's going on? The skunk, can't you smell? You can, you have a nose, right? Yeah, you can smell the skunk thing now. Okay, well, yes, I can do that. <laughs> I was like, oh, it smells really bad. Can you please dispel it? Oh, okay. 
So you dispel it? Yes. Uh, you dispel <clears throat> Druidcraft, and the skunk smell uh, is replaced by a very different smell. Uh, it looks like it had been masking um, a, a scent that was just underneath it. It does not smell like a skunk. It smells like rotting flesh. Oh, God. We all start, like, or Nyla starts, like, coughing. And, like... Salvador's like, we should get Selwain. Yeah, we should. They're good with good dead idea. things. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go get them. Salvador, like, scrambles back through. Like, Selwain! <laughs> Selwain! <laughs> I'm awake, I'm awake. So oh. there's something dead in the next room. So He like shakes you frantically. <laughs> I'm, I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. Uh, yeah, you are still, I imagine this whole time you've been like borderline unconscious in the hammock, <laughs> like <laughs> desperately trying not to puke. And so I was like dragging you back by both wrists like, it smells really like, bad, oh, I no. think it's dead. <laughs> it smells really bad. And not just because I had skunk in here before. You had what? I did. She she cast a skunk thing. Don't worry about it, Selway. What do you make of this? And you can you come out into the hallway and you see all your friends Scooby Doo Skyle pressed up to the door, like peering around the corner. (laughs) Be a little bit more obvious, guys. (laughs) No way. I'm sorry. I don't see you helping. (laughs) I've been puking. Thanks for asking. No Uh, one asked. Anyways. So you now you are all looking through the door, and yeah, it is getting harder to ignore. Uh, it smells like decay in there, like old decay. Okay, mm. okay, guys. I'm going to go in there and figure out what's going on. Someone like... needs to watch the hallway and make sure whoever is in charge, responsible for this doesn't come back. Please be careful. I will. <laughs> um, so... I've already, I, I'm slipping in with you as well. Like, I'm not letting you in with just a dead thing. Right, right exactly. But, but Selwyn sees you go in, Selwyn, he sees you go in, and he's like, oh, okay. And then he slips in too. <laughs> Sorry, he I thought we were like, going to watch the hallway. All right, all right. <laughs> Apparently not. Apparently you're all going in together. Why are we not? Wait, no watching wait. the hallway? No, pause, pause. I was going in just with Nyla. <laughs> Mm-hmm. And then who Sal was watching the door? Uh, I don't know who's got who's got better perception. I guess. Yeah, it's n- not me. Not Sal not has me. a plus five to perception. Sal is plus a better four, one yeah. than I do. Sal can stay outside. Oh yeah, we'll just push him back and be like, nope. Sal's like, <laughs> like right outside. But I want to help. Have a, you have you a very important task, help. which is to make sure that you tell us if the bad guy is coming back. Mm-hmm. Mm, okay. Please be careful. Uh, it's, and, not, it's, it's a small room, right? Uh, really quick, he is going to cast Bless. Um, you, I'll just copy and paste uh, the effects in it. And uh, mechanic, like mechanically, you that's what it, you, know, you can add a d4 to an attack roll or saving throw. Like literally, what happens is like he splashes all of you in the face with holy water, and he's like, <laughs> like okay, but be careful, be careful. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, Nyla's like coughing, like. <laughs> What is it? You can't just throw water at people, Sal. <laughs> I blessed you. You're welcome. Are you going to go in or not? Yes. <laughs> Jeez. Okay. <laughs> I guess we crack open the door. I guess it, it, so. It, it's a, it's not a big room, right? It's a. Small, it's a very. Small it's a very room. small room. It's uh like at it's like eight feet by eight feet. Okay, so I, we just should abandon all pretense of like stealthing at this point. There's no right, point. Exactly. We're not going to be able to sneak in. So I think we just bust the. Door. Or uh, yeah, I like I talked to you guys. I'm like, there's no way that if as soon as someone one of us is in there, whatever's in there is gonna know we're there. So we might as right. well just go in. But this only lasts one minute, y'all. All right, go. <laughs> uh, so you pull okay. open the door. The light uh, comes flooding in from the hallway. Uh, you can see the creature in more detail now, um, Nyla. Now that the the hall light is flooding in, uh, you can see it twitch slightly as the door opens, but it this does not turn thing. around. This is the, the thing that the was hooded... on the rope lead. Yeah, the person okay. that was on the rope lead. Do I is is it like making like w- like injured noises or anything? It just twitches. There's nothing else. It twitched when you open the door, and then it has not done anything else. Okay, Nyla looks at all of you, and she's like, "Well, we, I mean, you all are so insistent about helping people. I guess we had to go." Our, sir, person, hello, are you okay? Maybe. Somebody who has better knowledge of dead things or undead things should go take a closer look, and we will yeah. prepare to attack in case. Yeah, the smell is definitely coming from this thing. Uh, it yeah. is. I, no offense, but you smell pretty bad. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, we all look at, at Cell and are like, come on, Cell, like what? 
Yeah. Um, this, uh, if you want to roll Arcana, I'm guessing? Yeah, I guess. But we still can't see it. So we've got to go see what it is. It, it could be just a person. Could I mean, it's really off. bad, like a dead thing. Um, with an 18, um, in addition to gleaning that this is almost certainly... Like, well, okay, you can smell decay, so it's dead, but it twitched, so it's probably undead. Uh, in addition to the twitching and the smell, you also detect a very malevolent aura the closer you get to it, Selwyn. Uh, you do not know what it is. It is almost certainly not human. Uh, I guess I share that information with the group. And and as, um, as you are sharing it, it turns around and I would like all of you to make a constitution saving throw. Everyone in the room, not Salvador. Oh, fuck. This is gonna be bad. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> oh, my sweet oh, summer Nyla. Oh, Nyla. Did we just get another fucking TPK? <laughs> uh, good news. It's not a TPK. No, oh, good. <laughs> That's it's not total, good. just mostly. Mostly everybody. Um, so, Ariazes, you take 15 points of damage. Okay. Selwyn cool. and Nyla, you have dropped to zero hit points. Oh, no. Shit. <laughs> well, okay, then. The hell? <laughs> Ariazi's like, Sal, they're down. <laughs> Sal's like, what? I left you alone for three minutes. <laughs> uh, Sal bursts into the room, and I would like everyone to roll initiative. <laughs> Fine. Do I have to roll initiative if I'm unconscious? You do. You do. Yes. <laughs> Damn it. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. And Sal is going to make a quick Arcana check as well. Oh wow. Oh shit. Ooh. And it actually sort of makes sense because uh, this is, as a cleric, this is in his wheelhouse. Uh, he says, "Oh my god, a bow deck!" He says, "Do not look it in the eyes." Uh, Sorry, I was just looks at the floor like, okay. <laughs> Uh, so, Nyla, you are first up. I need you to make a death saving throw, my sweet, my sweet summer child. That's a 1d20 straight. A 10 is a success. So you have one success. Uh, you need three successes to uh, to stabilize and three failures to die. Okay. Oh, boy. Uh, Salvador is up next, and he's like, oh, my God, do not look at it. These things are extraordinarily dangerous. Uh, and you can hear now uh, the, the Bodak, uh, he called it, making slow noises like, <laughs> Uh, and oh. starting to slouch toward you. Uh, and Salvador is going to cast Spare the Dying on you, Selwyn. Thank you. Uh, so, uh, actually, no, he's not going to cast Spare the Dying. He is going to heal you. Uh, he okay. is going to cast Cure Wounds at a uh, second level. Okie dokie. Uh, so that is... Wow, that's a... <laughs> that's just a good roll. That's what that Yay. is. Whoa. Uh, you come awake, uh, Selwyn, with 23 hit points. And oh. but now that you regain consciousness, I was like, it's a Bodak. And when he says Bodak, <laughs> uh, you know immediately what a Bodak is, because this, this is also your wheelhouse. And right. now that you can. Like, oh, no. <laughs> uh, so a Bodak, Selwyn, is a creature. It was once a humanoid uh, that died with a touch of pure evil. Uh, and it lost just everything that made it human. And now it is an extraordinarily powerful, extraordinarily dangerous creature. If you make eye contact, you're going to have to re-roll um re-roll that uh save uh that could kill you uh next up in the order is selwayne you are now conscious yay <laughs> cool uh okay i guess i'm gonna use witch bolt to try to hit it witch bolt okay that's a roll to hit right yeah okay go ahead uh 12 is not good enough but you can add sal's bless to it if you would like oh yep that's a hit now okay. um so go ahead and roll damage that's Jeez. just that's just not lucky, is what that is. Oh but, no! Uh, but damage is damage. Just to be clear, I keep my eyes like on its feet, or you know, not anywhere near its head. Uh, it'll take a little bit more than that. You know, you're gonna have to put one hand um, above your eyes. You know, to, like to. Oh, okay. Um, yeah. If if you if your if your gaze gets anywhere near its face, it's bad news. Okay. Bears. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, next up in the order is the Bodak. Uh, the Bodak. Is. Let's see what fun abilities the Bodak has. Oh boy. Uh, it is going to uh, raise 
its withering gaze uh, to oh you. Actually, he's going to do it on Cell. Uh, and Cell has to make a con saving throw. Oof, nope. Wah, wah, wah. Uh, he is going to take... Oof. Oh my god, no! Wow, that is exactly enough to knock him out! Oh, oh my god. god, no! Oh, good. Good, 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 good. Hey guys, I don't have any healing spells prepared. What? You don't have any healing spells prepared? Why not? I just, you know, I we have Sal. I'm sorry. I didn't think you're dead. You can't talk. <laughs> you're I told you we needed healing potions. <laughs> oh my god. Next up in the order is Ariazis. Yeah. You can try to <laughs> stable see Sal. Just like go unconscious. Like oh no, oh no, oh dear, oh bad. That's bad. <laughs> um, Jesus, what can what can I even do? Um, <laughs> Moonbeam. That's just what I'm gonna do. Uh, I will also, like, put my hand at the level of my eyes so I don't look at it and cast Moonbeam, which is a con save. Nope, it's not going to do it. Uh, so nope. it's 2d10? Do, do, do. Yeah, 2d10 radiant damage on a failed save. Okay, go ahead and roll. 13 damage, woof. That's quite a lot. All right. I mean, compared to two. <laughs> <laughs> Ariazi's just like, oh, Sal, hello. Oh, yes, no. Sal doesn't answer. Uh... <laughs> Next up in the order is Nyla. Make another death save. Oh my god. You're gonna, we're all gonna Hell die. Yeah. <laughs> That's another success. You only need one more success to stabilize. Oh boy. Good job. Uh, it's Salvador's turn to make a death save. Oh no. <sighs> nope. Oh my god. Oh no. Uh, Selwyn, so you can... are up. Are there like... Uh, I can I make a three... medicine check to stabilize him? I th think so, yeah. Yeah, because uh, I was thinking because your Witch Bolt is a concentration spell, but I think a medicine check is one of those things that is not going to interfere with a concentration spell. Okay. So yeah, cool. it's plus medicine. Uh, 16 is a success. Uh, you have Ooh. stabilized Salvador. Okay, and then um, I get to roll my damage from Witch Bolt? You sure do. Yes. Woohoo. Yay! Thank God. Is, is what does stabilize mean? Uh, stabilized means, means but... that you are not in danger of dying. You are not conscious, okay. but you are not going to die. <laughs> okay. That's what Sal was doing to all those cultists. <laughs> <laughs> Seven damage. Uh, got not it. nothing. Break right, it's better than region. nothing. It's fine. Uh, next up in the order is the Bodak again. <laughs> you can <laughs> still hear it cackling. <laughs> uh, and it is going to shamble forward and Arya... Make a con save for me. Uh, no, you know what? I just, I don't want to look at you and... Oh, good. Uh, so you take 2d10, you take half damage. You take 8 damage, 8 necrotic damage, and you can still hear it cackling uh, behind you. Uh, Ariazis, it is your turn. <laughs> I only have 4 hit points left. Great. There's right. a thing called fearlessly fleeing. I have zero hit points left. Do we want to drag these people out? She just kind of like looks like, what should we do? I have to roll again for Moonbeam. So. You sure do? Uh, yes, you sure yeah, do. Yeah, do that first. Yeah. Nine damage. Nice. All right. Just like, ah, this is not good. Uh, next up in the order is Nyla. One more death save, my sweet child. <laughs> Just real quick as a question, can I add the uh, D4, the blessed D4, to the saving, or to the throw? Um, you know, that's a good oh, question. Wow. Yeah, that is a good question, huh? Um, you can add, whenever a target makes an attack roll or a saving throw, um, um, and actually if you rolled a 3 or a 4, that would make a difference. Let me see, um... I know. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, Google does bless effect death saving throws. <laughs> <laughs> oh, someone, someone else has had a very bad time with this spell. Uh, yes, according to actually one of the people who created Dungeons and Dragons, bless Excellent. benefits uh, a death saving throw. Okay, come on, baby, roll high. Uh, yeah, that's enough. Uh, you yes. have stabilized, Nyla. Yay! Sweet. No help to the rest of you sons of bitches. <laughs> you know hey. what? We're all dying, too. <laughs> uh, Salvador is up next. Uh, he is stable, so he can't do it. He's stable, but he's not going to wake up at any time. Anytime soon. Yeah. So, Selwyn. Okay, I have nothing to heal him. Yep, oh, Selwyn, you are up next. Well, I told y'all that healing potion... I'm, I'm going to rip you as a new asshole when I wake up. <laughs> 
I don't have the money for a healing potion. Thank That's you very why much. Why I Snark. told you we should get money. <laughs> the money's unconscious. I'm, we can't have this conversation. Uh, so okay, wait, Arya, Arya, are we? Should we? Should we just drag them out? Like, should we get away? Like, if you can carry, we can try. I'll say you've bloodied it. I I am looking very bad. I don't know about you, but you can still hear. More hit than I'd definitely be out. <laughs> Ugh, gross. If you can grab Nyla, I or I or Sal, we can run. I mean, either way, you still have to roll your um, uh, yeah, the witch bolt damage. Yeah. Oof, it's getting low. All right. Um, can I use my movement to like pull Nyla closer to the door? Uh, yeah, you can probably get her outside. It's not a very big room. You wouldn't be able to close okay, the door. Like... Yeah. No, I think I want to do that. I want to push her out of harm's way. Okay. Yeah, you can do that. You pull an, a, a stable but unconscious Nyla uh, out the door. Yep. Uh, so, the Bodak is going to activate something called Aura of Annihilation. Oh okay. my god! Oh, this is great. Yeah, this sounds fantastic. Thanks. Wonderful. Uh, I'm so glad me... that I'm outside. <laughs> so you managed to get Nyla out the door, but you are still within line of sight of this thing, Selwyn. So both you and Ariasis are going to take five uh, points of necrotic damage, and you're going to keep I'm taking out. that as long as you... I thought you had eight hit points. Mm-hmm. No, she said she had four. I had four. I'm out. Okay. <laughs> cool. Ariasis is out. <laughs> cool. Cool. Great. <laughs> you're just seeing, like... Or pass out, and her antlers make lots of noise as she falls. <laughs> okay. Uh, Ariazi's roll a death save. It's your turn. Oh, boy. Fantastic. Oh. Just a straight d20? Straight d20. Mm-hmm. So, Wayne, save us all. That's a fail. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, you no. can use your bless. Use your bless. Oh, yeah, that's right. I can do it. It's a d4? It's a d4, yeah. yes. Big money, big money. Big come on, come on, come on. Oh, oh, shit. Oh. <laughs> nope, still a failure. A one. Sorry. Nice. Uh, so Nyla, it is your turn, but you can't do anything. Uh, Salvador yep. is still uh, unconscious. Selwyn, <laughs> it's your turn. Uh, you're the only hope. I'm gonna grab at my next friend and you know um, push them out. Which one? Um, I yeah, think Sal because I was closer. Mm-hmm. <laughs> this thing is still chained up too, right? Yep, it is still tied to the hammock in it. Uh... It's just like annihilating. <laughs> uh-huh. God. And then um, I'm gonna use the. Uh, I'm going to use my action to cast Witch Bolt at a higher level uh, to try to deal more damage on this thing. Okay. Yeah, that's Woo. a hit. That's a hit. Woo! Woo. Yes! Woo. And, Come on, Selwyn, save us all. <laughs> uh, I'm also going to use the um, Skull Focus to use it to deal critical damage. Oh my god, this Ooh. might be the killing blow. You might do it, Selwyn! Oh my god. <laughs> come on, come on, come on, baby. <laughs> Whoa! Woo. Hey! This thing stops cackling. Uh, it, Thank God. Uh, you hesitantly lift your eyes just to make sure that it's really dead, and you see it slumped forward over itself, not moving. It still stinks, though. <laughs> so, Wade, you're the only survivor! Well done! I know, like, everybody I, else is passed out. <laughs> I, was like, I like that we're not even, like, a, like, we're not even awake enough to see it. Like, you had this, like, glorious victory. <laughs> right. Exactly. I just, okay, I just realized I said, okay, okay, I'm very excited. I just realized what I set up accidentally. So the only, uh, uh, Nyla and uh, Salvador are both stable, you can tell. The only one who's not stable is Ariazis, Selwain. She's the only one who needs your help. <laughs> Quickly, do something! <laughs> the DM is really excited about it. The DM ships it. <laughs> the DM to mouth. <laughs> the shipping possibilities. She lies with her hair flowing around her with the light falling on her face perfectly. Yes! She looks very beautiful and tragic. <laughs> How beautiful she looks even <laughs> When the DM ships it. <laughs> right. <laughs> No, I definitely, I definitely rush back over to her, and just like drop down next to her, um, and um, roll a medicine check. Yep. Hands on either side of her face. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. <gasps> oh, it's a dirty twenty of love. <laughs> all right, you are stable. Uh, all your friends are stable. There's a dead Bodak, and you hear someone coming down the stairs. Oh God. <laughs> um how close was this room to ours it was uh, on the opposite hall opposite side of the hall 
It would not take any effort at all. Well, I mean, <laughs> you would have to carry them, but uh, yeah, you could get them. One. Sassy! <laughs> what? Get over here! <laughs> I don't wanna! Shut up and get do it! <sighs> you can hear the hammock creaking. Uh, and the person coming down the hall, coming down the stairs, you realize, uh, it is Captain Warwater. Ooh. She comes down the stairs and she sees this tableau of, like, three unconscious people in the hallway. She's like, what the <laughs> hell happened here? There, there, there was a Bodak in there. What the hell's a Bodak? What are you talking about? She bursts into the room, uh, and she, the smell here, she's like, oh god. That, <laughs> she's that's like, a Bodak. What the, who took that in here? I don't know. She says, "Okay, hang on. We've got we have a we have a priest on board. Hang on." Uh and she runs back upstairs. Sassy comes uh like sort of uh shambling out of the room. She's like, "What do you want me to do? Help me get them into the hammocks." Sassy eyes them like, "Seems like not my problem, but <laughs> fine." <laughs> Uh, Sassy, you ever want me to fix that clicking heel again? <laughs> Sassy grabs Nyla by both ankles and like drags her into the room. Hey, <laughs> I mean it's better than nothing. Um. <laughs> Does Selwyn carry Ozzy carry Isis in her arms into the room? Does she? Oh God, DM. <laughs> I'm sorry. I ship it. I can't help myself. I don't know. Selwyn doesn't have the strength to do that. I mean, Selwyn's I mean, we, strength mod we is remember- zero. Wait, so that's, uh, what's the base strength? Ten. Um, and we remember, what was that formula? That's 165 pounds. No, you can absolutely carry Ariazis. Yeah. <laughs> I had to do math to make my ship sail. You're like, I had to do math to this ship. <laughs> you can. She weighs less than that. I mean, she's not a bear this time. So. <laughs> not, a, not a spider this time either. Then yes, yes, I tenderly pick her up. I'm very careful of her antlers, horns. <laughs> yeah, the antlers yeah. are probably like a hazard. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah, just a little, they're a little pointy. Get her into one of the hammocks, Sal. and then I go back to help uh, to get Sal. Uh, Sal is starting to come to just barely. He's like, "What happened? Ugh, the fucking Bodak." Oh, the Bodak! Oh, the Bodak! He suddenly it's comes dead. like, it's dead. It's dead. Oh, God! It's dead. Oh, it's dead! It's dead. It's dead. It's dead. It's dead. Uh, it's dead. Okay, hang on. Oh, God. He he looks around. Uh, and was like, oh, God! Are they dead? No, no, they're 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 okay. We got them into the other hang room. Hang on, they're I'm okay. gonna... Uh, he is going to cast... Um, he's gonna cast... He's gonna channel Divinity. Uh, he has one of these per rest. Uh, he presents his holy symbol and evokes healing. His holy symbol in this case is a, a golden ring with a water-filled gem. Uh, he presents it to evoke healing energy. So he is going to give each of you 10 hit points. Yeah, he doesn't need to give them to me. Give them to the others. Yeah, he gives each of you. Nyla and Ariazis, you both get 10 hit points. And can Ariazis okay. still be in Selwyn's arms when he casts this? <laughs> Aww. please can it please she was at negative one hit points and now she's back to nine <laughs> uh no uh, you always start from zero uh when you okay. lose consciousness so 10 she's at 10 <laughs> you wake up and you are in selwayne's arms ariazis and you have 10 hit points and sal has one but that's fine <laughs> that's all he needs to be conscious she like stop a toe yeah <laughs> she like blinks and is like Ariazis, are you okay? Maybe. <laughs> I'm fine now, probably thanks to you. Because I don't have the healing prepared. That was very foolish. Yeah, don't don't ever do that to us again. Sorry. Sal is looking between the two of you like like eyes going back and forth like a tennis match as you're talking to each other, like <laughs> then he looks at Nyla like with with the look, like, is it <laughs> do they are it? Do are do it? them? <laughs> Ariel just like reaches up and pats Selwyn's face, like "Thank you for taking me, picking me up." Never gonna wash my face. <laughs> Sal urgently grabs Nyla's arm, like mm, and just shaking you frantically. <laughs> Nyla's like shaking him off. <laughs> do okay. it? Are them? <laughs> Nyla, are you alive? I looks around at all of you. She goes. What happened to the nice young man in the other room? <laughs> what? What? <laughs> we um, were rescuing some nice young person, and then I was on the and I woke up here. It was oh. not a person. It oh, was a yeah, monster. No. Mm. What? 
<laughs> Let's yeah. leave it there for tonight. <laughs> so I'm I'm gonna be honest with you. I had designed that fight because uh, Salvador has an ability to turn undead, and I thought the mm. challenge rating is kind of high for you, but you've got a cleric with you, and he can force it to flee, <laughs> and then immediately then, Sal lost consciousness. <laughs> but then he got you the motherfucker. Hey friends, it's your favorite DM, Tessa Crowley. If you want more information on the show, social media links, episode lists, character biographies, or player information, check out our website, critfail.club or critfailclub.com. If you want to chat with us or other listeners, or even listen live as we record, join our Discord server at bit.ly slash cfcdiscord. Episodes are available on YouTube at bit.ly slash cfcchannel and wherever you get your podcasts.